Well, I'm on my way to Alpine for the 2025 Texas Section Society for Range Management meeting, but uh, I thought I'd make a couple pit stops on the way and show you just what I'm seeing as the transition goes from the Edwards Plateau to the Trans-Pecos. So let's take a closer look. So we've actually got a surprising number of grasses here. So the first one, Brothericloa barbanoides, silver blue stem, or a type of silver blue stem, uh, but it's a lot more scraggly and shorter uh, inflorescence and very long barbs. Uh, here we've got our state grass, of course. We've got the side oats grama, so that's gonna be a really good one. Bootalua curtipendula, let's keep looking. Let's see, this one here is gonna be Tridens muticus, or Tridentopsis, uh, I think is the new name, but this is uh, Slim Tridens. If we look right here, we've got our sand drop seed. So it's got that flag leaf, a little bit of a pyramid inflorescence. And if we look down here, we're gonna see that white tufts of hair at the collars. Okay. Oh, we've got some of the one I made the last video on, the windmill grass, tumble windmill grass, Chloris verticillata. We've got this one here, vine mesquite, Hopia obtusa, or Panicum obtusum is the old name. Uh, so that's a really good grass species. Um, let's see what else we got. I saw one cool one earlier. Ah, here we go. Here's a white tridens, uh, tridens albescens. So that's another good species. So dense uh, closed panicle or a compact panicle with big purple nodes on the stem. Uh, that's going to be a distinguishable, distinguishable thing there. Oh, and here's a good one. Pink pappas grass. It's got these little pink pineapples. All right, so let's uh, move on and see what we see at the next stop.